John C. Bland II, and I saw a blog post that came out on the 5th. Uh, it just came through an email, and I was like, this is interesting. I kind of want to play around with this, uh, this stuff. And they have a pretty decent walkthrough here to show what run triggers are. Now, this is something new. If you watched our last video that talked about terraforming, terraform cloud, how the different run approaches work, everything was kind of based off of you kind of running your pipeline, how you see fit and kind of manually chaining or using your CI CD that you're currently using now, Jenkins or Circle CI or Travis, whatever. Run triggers actually is built on top of this concept of being able to pipeline and it, being able to have one thing trigger something else that triggers something else. So it's a new feature. It's just in beta. It's not released yet, uh, but it actually will help tremendously uh, when it comes to having multiple repos kind of tied together. So what we're going to do, nothing custom here. We're just going to utilize their repos. We're going to set it up and we're just going to kind of see how it works. It's basically a video tutorial of this entire project. So to start with, the only thing I did here, I cloned all three of their repos just so I could pull them into uh, my specific training uh, Terraform Cloud organization. These all run in order. This is kind of how we're going to make this happen. All right, so this chart here shows we're gonna have random integer output something, random separator is going to output something, and then pet is going to pull from both of those and it's going to use them to also output something. Nothing serious here in terms of infrastructure, just something easy that we can kind of see how pipelines kind of work. So random integer, the only thing this is here is a random integer resource, just generates a random integer from one to 10 and then it outputs that value. Inside of random separator, it uses remote state these are two variables that we have to define. We have to define the organization and the actual workspace that we want to target for the remote state here. The random string here basically takes the length of the output from random integer and it uses that to generate a random string. And then random separator will actually take the value and it'll create the, put these little dashes around, it'll append and prepend them. And then it outputs that as the separator value. Random pet will now take remote state from the random separator workspace. We have to define that as a variable. And the random length, define the length workspace here as well. And then it uses the random pet resource. It uses a my prefix with the length from the integer repository and a separator from the separator repository. So that's pretty much it for this section. Now we need to set it up. And I've already gone through the process of actually setting up uh, each one of these and I ran it just to make sure everything was kosher, just to play with it. And so I'll just kind of show the setup. Uh, no custom variables here for random integer. If we look at the run triggers, there are no run triggers here because this is the starting point of our pipeline. For the random separator, we set the organization. We set the length workspace variables. And then for our run triggers, we say whenever random integer runs, I want to run random separator. Random pet, we have the separator workspace, the length workspace, and the organization. And then for the run triggers, we say when random separator runs, I want to run this repo. Now, this could also do something like this. If that was a desire, you could set it up like this. And you could say random pet needs to be triggered off of integer and separator. So that adds a run trigger for two different workspaces. So this is how you can spread out your Terraform then you can have those workspaces trigger workspaces above it. So it's all about how you want to kind of put this together. So let's come back to the random integer. Let's queue it. All 
All right, so the initial configuration of the plan is done. Here's our random integer. And now you can see that actually notifies you that, hey, random separator is going to be run after this. If we come over to random separator, nothing's running, nothing's planned. Confirm and apply. All right, great. Everything worked here. Boom, random separator is running. I didn't do anything. I didn't press any buttons. It kicked off for me already. You can see it's now going to increase the length to nine. Going to confirm this one. And if we come back to random pet, we can see nothing's happening here. Random separator is finishing off doing what it's doing. Random pet is just sitting here in a holding pattern. Great. Random separator is complete. Boom. Random pet is running. What we see here is a way to take one workspace, tie it to many different workspaces, and have those workspaces work in an actual pipeline. Now, preferably, there would be some way to visualize this where we could see what ties to what. And this is a beta, so hopefully HashiCorp sees this and they kind of take the hint that being able to visualize this and what things are tied to what would be a very key feature. This sort of setup, uh, being able to see what's connected to what would be critical. We can see in here what actually triggered it off of the run. This run was automatically triggered based on this workspace. If we go back to this run from separator, it says it was triggered from this workspace. You can also see it up here. And this one was manually triggered by me. So we can follow back down the chain. But if you imagine there's maybe, I don't know, six, seven, eight, as the numbers increase, as there's a bigger pipeline to run, there's more workspaces that are tied together. You can imagine there could be a case where you're having to dive down a rabbit hole to find something. And it would be great if we just had a visual to say, boom, Here's what happened, why it happened, where it came from, and kind of show the path. That'd be an awesome feature. But either way, this is a great beta feature. I'm excited that HashiCorp has brought this to Terraform Cloud. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with it when it becomes production ready. This has been another Catapult Training. Happy coding. Yeah.